how do lights turn on? Where have dinosaurs gone? Can the wind sing a song? Are there really black swans? Why do people yawn? Where the stars at dawn? The questions and adventures never end. Slowly, Clyde. Let's go play, Clyde. I'm gonna go hide, and then you have to come <laughs> and find me. Come on, Luna. <laughs> Be right there. Walking by themselves. Do you think Luna's seen this? Hmm. Luna! Cookies that walk on their hmm. own? Hmm, I wonder where they're going. Over there. Huh. <laughs> I never ever seen a walking cookie. What do you think they taste like? Did you see that? Not walking cookies, Jupiter. They're little ants. Little ants? But I've never heard of ants shaped like cookies before. No, Jupiter. Take a look through this. You see? <laughs> the ants are carrying the cookies. Oh. Hmm. Look, it's not just cookies. <laughs> How can such a little itty bitty ants? carry such big leaves and such enormous pieces of cookies. How? Huh. Let's find out, because I've got to know. What's happening here? I've just got to know. What's happening here? What can it mean? This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. What's happening here? Let's figure it out. I just gotta know what this is all about. We found an anthill. That's where they're taking all of our cookies, Luna. Amazing. Look how many ants there are. So many leaves. So many mm. cookies. But how is it that they can carry such big things? Cookies aren't really that heavy. I bet I could carry lots of them. Yeah, but look how big you are and how little the ants are. They're so very tiny, but so strong. I wonder how much weight they can carry. Hmm. Yeah. I know. I've got a great idea for an experiment. Ready? One little breadcrumb, one pinto bean, and one piece of mommy's yummy cake. Perfect. Can I pick one of them? I want cake. Negative, Jupiter. None of this food is for you or uh -huh. me. It's not for you and me? No. no. It's for the little ants. We'll watch them and see which huh? ones they can carry with them. But the cake is way too big for tiny little ants to carry around. That's what I want to find out. <laughs> Everyone in position. The ants really did come. How did you know they really come? <laughs> because ants love to go wherever there's food, and they're always hungry, Jupiter. Just like me. <laughs> <laughs> Just as I suspected, the ant had no problem whatsoever carrying the breadcrumb. Easy peasy. It was very light. Ants are able to carry things that are much bigger than themselves. Look! That bean is almost as big as she is. 
One of the ants is going over to the cake. They are so smart. Did you guys see that? The piece of cake was too big for just one little ant to carry, so she and her friends broke it into smaller pieces. Incredible! This is so amazing. The little ants work together as a team. Just like we do. Mm -hmm. That tells us that they're intelligent, but it doesn't explain why they're so strong. But... But? I know exactly what we should do to find out how the ants are so strong. Let's make believe that we're all little ants, and then we can lift lots of big things too. <gasps> we're little ants. Where are we right now, Luna? In our backyard. Look. Things sure do look really different now that we're little ants. I don't remember that giant flower being there. It just seems giant now because we're so small. Huh, where are all the other ants? Hey, huh? look what I found. It's my cookie. I think if we follow this trail, we'll find the other ants. Let's find out. Gee, it looks like the trail just ended. Aww. Over here, this way. Leaf, leaf, leaf. That's a cookie crumb. Chocolate. Uh, wait, now what is that? <gasps> ah, yes, an ice cream cone. Leaf. Hey, hang on a minute. Ooh, a piece of chocolate cake. Get ready, everybody. A heavy load is coming in. It's Mama's cake. Time to find out how all those little ants are able to carry such big things. Cookies, candy, donuts, cake, sugary treats. We ants like all that sweet. We're always making haste. Never letting food waste. So many different things we love to taste. But how are they able to carry all of those heavy things? We are also strong because we are so very small. Carrying big things is not a problem at all. Teamwork is a must for lifting heavy stuff. You can carry things big people can't when you're strong like a little ant. When you are strong like a little ant. Sugary treats, we ants like all that sweet. We're always making haste, never letting food waste. So many different things we love to taste. We're so little, but we're really, really strong. This is amazing, <laughs> isn't it? Did you see how big that potato chip was? This is the biggest potato chip I've ever picked up or eaten. <laughs> And it wasn't hard at all. <laughs> <laughs> but why do they need so much food? They must eat a lot. No. You see, it's not that we need to eat the food right now. We're storing up on our supplies for the winter. Winter? But it's so far away. But we have to start now to store up enough food for the colder days. So you can't get food when it's cold outside? No. That's why we have to work hard and prepare now. Just look how strong we are. We're so strong because we're so light. I don't get it. Because we're so small, we're also very, very light. We weigh less than a little breadcrumb. And because we weigh so little, it doesn't take much effort to lift our bodies. So carrying things is easy. That's it. That means that they have more strength to carry around more food. So ants are strong because they're really smart and really light. That's right. And when something's too big to carry alone, we all work together as a team. This is the best experience ever. All right, that's it for
for today. Excellent work, everyone. Now let's all go wash up for dinner. And make sure you wash all six of your hands. Dinner? Mm. Luna, Jupiter. That's Mama. She must be looking for us. Luna, Jupiter, where have you been? Dinner's on the table. Dinner? <laughs> Woohoo! I'm as hungry as an ant in the winter. <laughs> Come on! Jupiter, Clyde, and I have prepared a really special show for you guys. A show about why ants are so strong. Cookies, candy, donuts, cake, sugary treats. We ants like all that sweet. We're always making haste, never letting food waste. So many different things we love to taste. If I was as strong as an ant, I could lift a bubble all on my own with just one ah! hand. Hmm, how is it that such big, heavy ships float in the water? Why is it that some things float and other things sink? So many questions. Shooting stars. Backyard. Just one more. This is going to be the best castle in the whole world. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Aww. Luna. It was an accident. That's okay. We'll make it even bigger and better one next time. Right, Clyde? <laughs> you can help, Luna. Not now, Jupiter. We've got ourselves a star to find. Huh? There's one. Okay, we found a star. <laughs> now we can build a new <gasps> castle. No, Jupiter. It's way better than that. I'm talking about a star that <gasps> fell from the sky. The star fell down from the sky? Mm-hmm. And landed right here in our backyard. Nothing over here. How about over there, Luna? No sign of the star over here either. How about you, Clyde? Got anything? Uh-uh. But why did the star fall down, Luna? What happened? Did it come loose from the sky or something? Why did it fall? I don't know. But I do know that stars fall. But do they just fall and land anywhere on the ground, like fruit? I don't know. Maybe they all land in one place. Like a big parking lot for shooting stars? <laughs> yeah, like a mountain of shooting stars. And the mountain twinkles a lot during the holidays. I wonder where that shooting star I just saw landed. Where could it have gone? I've got to know. I just got to know. What's happening here? What can it mean? stars fall while they're still turned on? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, because if it were turned off when it landed, we're never going to be able to find it in the dark. I know. We're going to need buckets, pots, and big pans. It's time for another experiment. <laughs> it's simple. We'll spread these pots and pans and buckets all over the ground in our backyard. Why? Do you want to make a nighty-night soup or something? <laughs> <laughs> Negative, Jupiter. We're going to use them to catch a star. If a shooting star lands in one of these pots, pans, or buckets, then we'll hear it. 
It'll make a really loud noise. Yeah, you're right, Luna. Yay, this is gonna be really fun. I'm going to name my star Bigfoot. <laughs> That's an odd name for a star. <laughs> I'm going to call mine Sparkles. <laughs> Why do we need umbrellas? Because, Jupiter, you don't want a star to land on your head now, do you? <gasps> Did you hear that? <gasps> <gasps> we caught a star. And it's alive. It's moving. <gasps> it has green eyes. Green eyes, gray hair, and a long furry tail. <gasps> it's just on Pliny, Luna. <laughs> <laughs> I guess no shooting stars landed back here. Maybe one fell, but it didn't make any sound. Yeah! No stars here. Yeah, but there's a ton of them in the sky. <laughs> you arrived just in time, Clyde. It's make-believe time. <laughs> we're going to pretend we're shooting stars and shoot up way up there in the sky and find out once and for all where all of the shooting stars go. Hmm. We got parachutes and landing cushions. <laughs> Just in case we crash on some real hard ground. Oh no, we're rocks, not stars. Yeah, Luna, I think you messed up the make-believe. Negative, Jupiter. I just asked to turn into shooting stars, but this is a little bit strange. You better brace yourself, Rock Jupiter. Ha, you're about to get rocked, Rock Clyde. I'm cold. Yeah, it really is a bit chilly up here. Maybe we can make a little fire out here. Something's pulling me. Whoa. Well, that's strange. I feel completely normal. Oh, wait, now I feel not so normal. What's, what's happening here? I feel like I'm being pulled to... It feels like we're falling, but so soon? Is it fun and much warmer? Whoa! I'm all lit up! Amazing! We're turning into shooting stars! Whoa! My fur! This is the best experience Everyone, ready to turn into meteors? Yeah! We're meteors. This is so cool. Heating up and heading down. Meteors, meteor boys are shooting stars. Have you ever wondered what we are? What we are? What go when they fall from the sky. Where are you guys going? As we fall through the sky, we break up into little pieces of dust. There's our house, Luna. Let's fall. Goodbye, meteors. A 
I'm a shooting star heading straight to Earth. I'm gonna break into a lot of little pieces. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah! Boom. Shooting stars aren't actually stars, but meteors that fall from way up in the sky. And some get so small that they turn into dust. I thought it was way more fun being meteors than being regular old stars. Right, Clyde? Because it was so great to fall from way up high in the sky, wasn't it? Now we're going to put on the best show ever for someone who's very spatial. Oops, I mean special. Come on, Edson, come on. Hang on, <laughs> just one minute. You're taking too long. And just why, might I ask, are you in such a hurry? Because we've got a really big surprise just for you, and it has to do with shooting stars. No peeking, Edson. Now open your eyes. Hmm? Wow. We're shooting stars! Edson, did you know that shooting stars aren't really stars that come loose and fall from the sky? They're meteors. Mm-hmm. It's time for the meteor show. Meteors, meteor boys are shooting stars. Clyde, you want to turn red. Ooh. Me? Red? I am! <laughs> I'm all red! But why did I turn all red? And why do we turn red when we get embarrassed? Why? Why? So many questions! Ice Giants! That's perfect, Jupiter. Okay, Clyde, turn it on. <laughs> it's filling up, Luna. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> that little boat you made for Clyde is really, really nice, Jupiter. <laughs> it's a little fishing boat, <laughs> and mine is a little ship. And mine is a tour boat. And mine is a ship for tours, too. The winner gets a raspberry ice pop. Yeah, it's going to be mine. Mmm, all mine. On your marks, get set, go! <gasps> Come on, little boat, hurry! Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> My awesome supersonic ship is catching up to the lead. <laughs> yeah, 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 whoop! Aw, right when I was about to win. Huh. Hey, where's your boat, Clyde? What happened? Did you take it out of the water? <laughs> you mean you didn't take it out? Then, where did it go? Maybe it sank. <laughs> it's okay, Clyde. I'll make you an even better one for next time. I wonder why Clyde's boat sank. I think it was the polar bear who did it. Or maybe it was him, Mr. Whale. I bet it was him, Mr. Whale. No, Jupiter. I think it was that big wave. Aw, uh, but in the ocean, is that what sinks boats in the ocean? Giant waves? Giant waves, icebergs. Ice what? Iceberg, Jupiter. A giant piece of ice that's so big, it can sink boats, even big ships. Mm. Giant ice that sinks ships? That I gotta see. Mm. Wow, the freezer that made that mm. iceberg must have been mm. humongous. What do you think it is? Hmm, I guess there's... Well, 
It could be... I don't really know. Do you think there are any icebergs bigger than our house? Do you think they're really salty, like the ocean? Yeah. Hmm, I don't know. But now I've got to know. I just got to know. <laughs> What's happening here? What can it mean? This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. What's happening here? That was really cool. You don't want me to turn into an icicle, do you? <laughs> I'd be pretty funny looking like an icicle. <laughs> looking like a Jupiter sickle. <laughs> <laughs> an icicle, of course. That's it. Oh good, I'm kind of thirsty. Are we gonna make some punch? <gasps> punch? <laughs> We're not making punch. We're going to make ourselves an iceberg. Uh -huh. Icebergs are blue. The one in my book is kind of blue. Now we just kind of put it in the freezer. Now what? You think it'll be long till the iceberg is ready? Not too long, but long enough for another boat race. I'm gonna win. <laughs> Boys, we have ourselves an iceberg. It's time for the experiment. Jupiter, we're going to need a clear bucket with water in it. I'll get it, I'll get it. Huh? Wow, it really did turn blue. Let's go put it in the pool. If we put it in the pool, we won't be able to see that part there. See? Ah! The part of the iceberg underwater is bigger than the part on top of the water. Look. Ooh. That's why icebergs are dangerous to boats. Because of that part that's hidden underwater. And it doesn't sink. It's so big, but it doesn't sink. Do you think they also flow like that in the ocean? I think so, Jupiter. <laughs> the water in the bucket is turning blue. Our iceberg is melting. Oh man. But we didn't even figure out what an iceberg really is. But we will, Jupiter. And I know just how we're going to do that. Let's make believe that we're all icebergs. Really big icebergs. So are we icebergs? I don't know, but we're not salty. Luna, I don't think that we're made out of salt water. Yeah, I think we're made out of fresh water. And we're kinda whitish, bluish. Wow! wow. This is the best experience ever. <laughs> Hiya. Hello. Are you guys new around here? What glacier are you from? Greenland? Alaska? I'm not really sure. We just turned into icebergs just now. Well then, it looks like we're all new around here. First, we were just little snowflakes. Then over time, we turned into a glacier and now we're icebergs. Yes, I've been around for a while, but I used to be an ice giant, just like you guys. Really? really? An, an ice, ice giant? giant? Yes, really big blocks of ice. Ice giants. I'm a giant. I'm a super, super ice giant. I'm a giant. Rawr. Hey, look. Jupiter has a seal on top of his head. Where? Where? I want to see. Well, what do you say, icebergs? Do you want to take a float around? Let's, Let's go! go!
Rangers and now Icebergs. To see. Polar bears and seals make their houses on us. So do penguins, birds, and even walruses. One of them made a house out of me. Inside and warm up. Mmm, I sure was hungry. Me too. Look, I ate all of it. This ice reminded me of something very important. Huh? Huh? Our show. Our super cool iceberg show. We only have two hours to rehearse. And I've got a really, really awesome idea for it. Mom, Dad, We've got a super duper waterific show for you today. Hope you like it. The Ice Giant Show. It sounds like it's going to be a good show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on out, see old Clyde. Uh -huh. <laughs> Very impressive. Wow. The best rolls around. Yay! Cool. Mm, that smells amazing. Cool. Oh. They're still warm. And mm. so light and fluffy. The secret behind good fluffy rolls is to knead the dough really well. To knead the dough? Yep. You have to roll up the dough real tight, then beat it out, then roll it up again. Do you want to need some bread? We sure do, right, Luna? Mm. Huh? Mm. 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 <laughs> so this is bread roll dough? Yep, sure is. That's going to become bread. Needle, I mean this really good. When will it turn into bread? It doesn't quite work that quick, Jupiter. There are still a lot of other steps that have to happen before the dough can become bread. Where is he going? Back here, where the magic happens. Wow! Here you go. Take a few more fresh rolls. You can save them for later. Thank you so much, Newton. <laughs> Newton said that this turns
turns into bread, Clyde. Isn't that amazing? Mm. But remember, he said that we need to knead and knead and knead. But how does this little icky piece of sticky dough turn into bread that's so fluffy and yummy? How does one thing turn into something completely different? And how does bread get all fluffy and yummy and grow and grow? I've got to know. I just got to know. What's happening here? What can it mean? This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. What's happening here? Let's figure it out. I just got to know what this is all about. We've got to figure out how dough becomes bread. But how? I don't know. But the bakery's where it happens. That's where the dough turns into bread. And bread rolls too, right? I know. Be right back. Mm. I'm back. Yay! <laughs> Where did you go? <laughs> I asked Newton to help us with our little experiment. And he wrote down the steps we need to follow on this paper. <laughs> he said that this experiment will help us to understand how dough turns into bread. Needle, what's that? A balloon. <laughs> this is going to be great. <laughs> you think the dough has to fly to become bread? Well, we're going to find out. <laughs> let's set up the experiment outside. OK, all ready. Mm -hmm. Let's get started. Mm -hmm. It says here that we should mm -hmm. start by putting in the sugar first. Jupiter, can you put the sugar in the bottle? Now it says to add some water, but warm water, not cold. And now, one last thing. We add baker's yeast. Baker's beast? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, uh, what is it? Baker's yeast. Jupiter, can you put a little bit in the bottle? Mm -hmm. Are we going to blow up the balloon? Mm -mm. Now it says we have to just wait 20 minutes. This is so exciting! <gasps> the balloon filled up all by itself! Wow. wow! What's that stuff in the bottle? That's the stuff we mix together, mm -hmm. Jupiter. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> but who blew up the balloon? <laughs> Was it you, Clyde? <laughs> It seems like something from the bottle caused it to fill up. Do you think that's what happens with the dough in the bread rolls? I don't understand. But we're going to understand. Want to know how? How? We're going to make believe we're dough and turn into little bread rolls. You'll me. <laughs> we're bread dough. But I want to be a bread roll already. I'm real hungry. Mmm, I think Newton just added the sugar. What's he adding now? Mm, it doesn't taste like sugar or flour either. I wonder if we're going to turn to bread rolls now. <laughs> <laughs> Touch more here, please. I want to be nice and crispy. Do you think we'll look like them when we're done? This is amazing. I want to be nice and fluffy, just like the bread rolls. I know, me too. When are we going to start growing? You think we need more kneading? Shh. It's time for you to rest. But I'm not even tired. 
Bread that doesn't rest doesn't grow. Really? We really, really want to grow. Well, just sit back and relax. Just let the yeast do all the work, my friends. That's the baker's beast. <laughs> yeah, yeast. Do we have that in us? Oui, oui. Yeast is the most important ingredient in any bread recipe, don't you know? Without yeast, we cannot grow. So that's what makes us grow bigger. Oui, oui. Just rest and let the yeast do all the work. In less than an hour, we'll be twice as big. Wow. But how do they do that? Where exactly are they? Baker's yeast are very, very small and very hungry as well. Come take a closer look. They've probably already started their feast. For loaves of bread to rise from our sticky dough, a very special ingredient must be added, oh, don't you know? Well, I Got to have some yeast for the dough to increase And magic then happens with the gas they release Oh, we just sit and rest while yeast does all the rest Oh, we just sit and rest while yeast does all the rest Munchy, munchy, munch to make bread grow a bunch Munchy, munchy, munch to make bread grow a bunch Munchy, munchy, munch to make bread grow a bunch Munchy, munchy, munch to make bread grow a bunch. We just sit and rest while yeast does all the rest. Munchy, munchy, munch to make bread grow a bunch. Munchy, munchy, munch to make bread grow a bunch. Voila! Now I feel more like real bread. Yeast sure are big eaters. Oui, oui. They love to eat our sugar. And the more they eat, the more gas they make. <laughs> gas? What gas? They produce a gas, and this makes little bubbles in our dough. And since our dough is very flexible, the bubbles grow and grow until we are big and fluffy. So that's what filled up the balloon. And that's how bread grows huh? bigger. <laughs> it tickles. Hmm? Do you think that it's the yeast? <laughs> <laughs> I can't take it. <laughs> Someone make them stop. <laughs> Your yeast must be starting to make air bubbles. Time for us to rest. And now, my friends, for one final touch. Who'd like a splash of color? <laughs> come on, come on. We've got to tell Newton how dough becomes bread. <laughs> Hi, Newton. Ah. Jupiter, Clyde, and I discovered something so amazing about bread. And we're going to put a show on just for you, Newton. Yay! For loaves of bread to rise from our sticky dough. A very special ingredient must be added, oh, don't you know? You gotta have some yeast for the dough to increase. And magic then happens with the gas they release. We just sit and rest while yeast does all the rest. And what about people, Newton? How do they grow? Do you think they can grow just like bread does? Why does everybody grow up to be different heights? So many, many questions! <laughs> Lunasaurus Rex. Luna! <laughs> Why is she taking so long? <laughs> Luna! Mama! Dad! Okay, ah. Jupiter, we're coming. Finally. <laughs> Hi, Jupiter. Hi, Clyde. <laughs> Sorry it took so long. <laughs> I couldn't find my safari hat anywhere. <laughs> Who's ready for a trip to the zoo? 
the dinosaurs. But we still have to see the birds, the turtles, the frogs. <laughs> I don't know if they have any ferrets here, Clyde. <laughs> Can we see all of that after we see the dinosaurs? <laughs> I just gotta see a T-Rex. Pretty please, Luna. Uh, but I really wanted to. <laughs> okay, let's go find the dinosaurs. That way. This has got to be it. Look, a fossil. But where are all the dinosaurs? These are dinosaurs, Jupiter. Not really. <laughs> it's them. <laughs> Wait for me, Jupiter. <laughs> See, I knew it. Why aren't they moving? Are they sleeping? Let's go wake them up. I think I woke him up, but he still uh, won't move. <laughs> Careful, Jupiter. <laughs> uh -huh. It's not a real dinosaur. This one's not real either. Why don't they have real dinosaurs? Because they don't exist anymore. But if they don't even exist, why did we come here to see them? <laughs> because I thought you wanted to see the dinosaur replicas and the bones and the fossils. I don't really want to see any of this stuff you just said. I want to see real dinosaurs eating trees, rocking, roaring, roar. What was that? <laughs> Huh? I knew they were real. That's a dinosaur. But it's too small to be a dinosaur. It must be a baby. <laughs> a baby? Huh? I don't think it could be a baby dinosaur hmm. because they don't really exist anymore. Unless, maybe, they're being born again. Like a dinosaur farm? <laughs> Who knows? What's happening here? What's happening here? What can it mean? This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. What's happening here? Let's figure it out. I just gotta know what this is all about. Yeah. What's happening here? What can it mean? For sure, I've never seen anything like this before. Wow, it looks like that dinosaur from that movie we saw. Yeah, you're right. The one with the big frilly neck thing that poofed out. <sighs> Our experiment today is observation. We're going to have to investigate the dinosaur up close. He's getting away. After him. Maybe he's going back to his little house. <laughs> he went into that tree trunk. Where do you three think you're going? After a baby Dilophosaurus. <laughs> you mean those over there? No, a real one. Go ahead and show me the picture, Luna. I'm sorry to say, that's not a dinosaur. It's actually a frilled neck lizard. A what? It's a type of lizard. And no wandering off without talking to us, okay? I've got my eyes on you three. Uh -huh. <laughs> a frilled neck lizard? Gee whiz, I wonder if the dinosaurs really existed. Oh, Jupiter, they really did exist. Just a long, long, long time ago. I don't believe in them anymore. 
I bet they never even existed. They did. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. And I know just how to prove it what? to you. We're going to travel way back in time to the time of dinosaurs. Travel back in time and see the dinosaurs? <laughs> That's right, Jupiter. We're going to make believe that we're dinosaurs. And then we can go find other dinosaurs. You'll see that I'm right. We're going to turn to dinosaurs and see other dinosaurs. Needle! <laughs> We turned into dinosaurs, and I'm a ferret asaurus. <laughs> no, Clyde, you're a triceratops. Don't you see the horns? And I'm a brachiosaurus. I love brachiosauruses. They're so nice. Rawr! I'm a dangerous and very, very hungry velociraptor. Watch out! Dangerous, hungry, and little. <laughs> <laughs> now let's go find some dinosaurs. Yeah! I might be little, but I'm way, way faster than either of you guys. Ah, you're not that little. It's just that we're so big. Yeah, we're really big. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Roar! And the Patasaurus! This is the best experience ever! Hello! You must be new around here. I've never seen a dinosaur like you before. I'm a ferret -asaurus. You were so right, Luna. See, didn't I tell you that dinosaurs really existed? Of course we existed. Millions and millions and millions of years ago. Wow. wow. Looks a lot younger than our grandpa. I'll bet he's faster too. He must eat a lot of fruits and plants. Probably some trees too. Different dinosaurs lived at different times, but we did exist. Dinosaurs, dinosaurs, dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, dinosaurs, dinosaurs. A long time ago, we dinosaurs ruled the land and we ruled the shore. We were so many, millions or more, but this all happened many years before. Some had claws and mighty jaws, and some like me were big tough dinosaurs, striking fear in all dinosaurs, with our mighty roar. Roar! Some had scales and some had tails. Some even swam like whales. Dinosaurs, dinosaurs, some had wings dinosaurs, and liked to fly, dinosaurs, dinosaurs, soaring in the sky up high. And dinosaurs like me preferred to eat plants and even trees. I love plants. Mm. Can someone hand that tree to me? that we can't see where we live. Of course you can. There are tons of dinosaurs in museums all over the world. You can go and learn all about us, see our fossils and all of our bones. I make a really nice fossil. Yeah, I've seen tons and tons of amazing dinosaur fossils. Our fossils are the most important proof that we existed. So now you believe that we really existed, right? Yeah! Luna, Jupiter, Clyde, where are you guys? Mom's calling us. Hey, who's ready for a grilled tomato and cheese, a saurus sandwich, and a Jurassic Garden salad, huh? Me. Oh, this is some really good cake, Mom. Mm -hmm. Hurry up, Jupiter. We've got a show to get ready for. Mom, mm -hmm. Dad, we want to introduce you to our new dino friends. Dino friends? Dinos, dinos, dinosaurs. <laughs> Ready, Luna? Ready? A long time ago, we dinosaurs ruled the land and we ruled the shore. We were so many, millions or more, but this all happened many years before. Some had claws and mighty jaws, and some like me were big, tough dinosaurs. And some like me were big and tough, striking fear with our mighty roar. <laughs> Dad, if dinosaurs 
dinosaurs don't exist anymore, do you think they have any relatives that still exist? Like grandkids or great-great-grandkids? Yeah. Do you think any animals here <laughs> at the zoo are the dinosaurs' great-grandkids? Maybe. Huh? So many questions. Let's go look. Hey, wait for me. Where science is happening.